Welcome to Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. One of my favorite mugs. I say that for every mug, by the way. <laughs> I see who I am. God sees who I am becoming. Isn't that cool? Very cool one with our cool coffee inside, Headbangers Brew. And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about personal experience today. And I wrote a book about personal experience. It's called Seriously. It's one of my older books, but it's Letters to Myself at 21. What I wish I would have known at 21 that I would tell myself. And today's podcast is part of that. I've called it You Have a Perfect Face for Radio. And here's why. <laughs> Dear Pastor Bob, I've never been good looking. People are not attracted to me and treat me like I'm not even there. I look in the mirror and I'm disgusting. Why would God make me so ugly? This is the reason I'm so lonely. I understand the feelings. They're not correct, but I understand the feelings. So, <clears throat> I grew up fairly lonely, to be honest. Um, not many friends, hardly any. Mistreated a lot, bullied a lot. You know, that was the way it was. And and then I never felt good looking and people kind of reminded me that I wasn't. And so I felt like I was always the outcast kind of guy. Even though I had the greatest parents who always encouraged me to keep going, that nothing none of that mattered and I needed to keep my eyes on the prize and so I always have but I remember in the early days and I've done radio podcasting for many years many 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 years and people used to say you know you have the perfect face for radio and I think it's pretty funny now but then I used to kind of push a button they didn't realize they were doing that it was kind of a running joke, but, you know, in those days, the people that were on television or podcasting didn't exist, but, you know, they were all these really good looking people and I wasn't one of those and I was a little bit of a hippie too. So, well, a lot of a hippie. So, um, it didn't translate into, into visual media, but I had the perfect voice for radio. And, uh, and, but people said the perfect face for radio too. Yeah. So this person said, I've never been good looking. I haven't either. People are not attracted to me and treat me like I'm not even there. I look in the mirror. I'm disgusted. Did God make me ugly? I'm lonely because of this. No, you're not. You know, it's amazing how much our self-image has to do with what we think other people see and what we project on them is really how they treat us many times. Now, I was thinking about this earlier as I was putting some of this together. You know, when you look at the people that are most influential, and I'm not talking about Hollywood, but I'm talking about in the real world, who are, you know, people that are running countries, people who are extremely wealthy or whatever, and you look at all their pictures, they're not beautiful people necessarily. They're driven people. They're people who haven't let their outward appearance affect what they're going to do because they have a vision, they have a dream, and they have something that, that they know that they can do. And this message is the most important. I see who I am, but God sees who I'm becoming. And I believe that he has great things for me. Well, that's a, 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 an, an amazing thing to think. It's an amazing way to project your life and to, and to, uh, and to believe in who you are and what, what and how he made you. It's pretty important. Why is this the answer? Because folks, God created you exactly the way you are. Exactly the way you are. You didn't make a mistake. And it has nothing to do with that. 
You know, I watch young people these days being so driven. It's not just these days. It's always been true. Being so driven to be popular, to look good like everybody else. And when you get older, you think, why did I want to look like everybody else so badly? Yeah. And these days, it's really tough. I know so many of these young guys that have a fitness regimen right now that and the, the reason is not to be real healthy, although I guess that's part of it maybe, but it's to look good. And the look these days is bodybuilding, muscular, you know, toned body, good apps, six pack. I have a keg. <laughs> I just wore a keg, not a, don't have the six packs. But I think that when you look at what people are driven to and this was true when I was a teenager as well. There are the beautiful people that the media tells you these are the ones you should look like. And they we call them today the influencers. And they're giving that message. But you listen to them. You look at them and you listen to them. And they may look good, but they're not happy people. It didn't solve anything inside. Will you turn with me to 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. And he's talking to women, but it applies to all of us. He said, your adornment must not be merely external. It can be that too, but don't just let it be external. With interweaving and elaborate knotting of the hair and wearing gold jewelry or being superficially preoccupied with dressing in expensive clothes. Designer everything these days, and they're so expensive. And when a poor family takes their kids to Walmart, the, the kids feel humiliated. How can I wear this to school? Yeah. By the way, Walmart. <laughs> and it says, but let it be the inner beauty of the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality and unfading charm of a gentle and feast and uh, just a minute, I just lost it. A gentle and peaceful spirit, one that is calm and self-controlled and not over anxious, but serene and spiritually mature, which is very precious in the sight of God. And by the way, very precious in the sight of people too. I have learned over the years, folks, that it isn't what's on the outside of me. It's what the inside of me that shines through makes all of the difference. You're not lonely because of the way you look. You're lonely because of the way you're projecting. You're lonely because you feel bad about yourself. Don't do that. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Remember that God has a plan. Remember that this outward exterior doesn't make any difference to who you are on the inside coming out. That's what needs to be projected. Hope that helps. We'll talk about this again as time goes on. Important topic, isn't it? And don't forget, folks, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.